This is Mel Wolverson with IT Training at the University of Missouri. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a regular rounded rectangle like this into something that is extruded into a 3D shape in Illustrator. I'll start with the rounded rectangle tool. I'll simply draw a very basic rounded rectangle. Over in the appearance panel, I will choose the FX button and then 3D and then extrude and bevel. That opens up the 3D extrusion dialog box and I can do a variety of things, but first I want to turn on preview because I want to see what's going on as I'm working on my project. I'm going to change the rotation here to 53. I'm just putting in numbers that work to match my other shape. You would play around with the shape and decide what does my client need? What do I want for this project? And you would pick your own numbers for this. My extrusion depth is only going to be 71 points. My bevel is going to be complex, complex two in this case. As you notice, none gives a very solidified shape, almost a cartoon shape. Whereas once I add that bevel, it looks more like a 3D object and the light starts to reflect off of it. Now that light reflection can be changed a little bit using the plastic shading versus diffuse shading versus no shading and that sort of thing. I'm gonna stick with plastic shading. I can use this little preview up here to move my shape around and the preview will move as well. So if you don't know what the numbers mean, you can just move the object in the preview to something that you like and that works just fine. Now I'm going to go to map art because I want to map a bit of art onto this object. So it looks like it's a little more interesting than just the regular 3D. From the map art box, I have a number of different symbols. So you can see that if you wanna map something to this, it's a lot easier if you turn that artwork that you want to map onto it into a symbol first. That's a whole nother tutorial, uh, but I hope you will check that out later. So I'm going to choose the Grime Vector Pack 15. Just by clicking and dragging, I can decide what part of the artwork I wish to be on my object. And if I drag this to the side, I can see the preview. I can see that that looks fairly interesting and I will select OK. Now I have my 3D object made directly from a simple shape in Illustrator. Thank you. Again, this is Mel Wolverson from IT Training at the University of Missouri. Check out our other content and please click subscribe.